so welcome back uh, let us see this example in this example we are having one cart of mass capital M attached with a spring uh, whose stiffness is K and another system is attached here with uh, with this cart is a simple pendulum so mass of the pendulum is small m and length is l so this is in rest will not be having any vibration in this condition uh, to study the vibration what we will do we will give some displacement uh, let to this mass uh, let this is the displacement given in that condition this pendulum will also rotate about this hinged point like this like this so we will be uh, studying this one and uh, this ex particular example so let us come here uh, to the solution part so here is the solution uh, of this particular problem so observe this figure carefully so let the displacement of the cart is x1 a small x1 and due to this displacement let assume that this pendulum is moving or have moved with a angular displacement theta okay so if i ask you what is the actual moment of this mass small m so you can answer this question like this that let initially our cart was here and pendulum is here when this is not moving so what i have done here is i have given x1 displacement to the cart so let this is the new position of the cart that this position is this one right after giving a displacement x1 am i right so if this is the another position of the cart and in that condition in this condition i am assuming that this pendulum also have moved with the angular displacement theta so let this is the new position of the pendulum that is mass m so the displacement of the cart is x1 and displacement of the pendulum is this one right this one so can i say this complete displacement is sum of two displacements so one is this one that is x1 and another one is this one so how much is this one this one how much is this if this length is l and this angle is theta 1 so how much is this one l theta 1 so total is x1 plus l theta 1 so this will be required to us while solving the problem so i have explained this one to you here only so let's come to the free body diagram of this cart as well as the pendulum so observe here this one is the free body diagram of the pendulum so pendulum is having displacement x2 so that due to that displacement late acceleration is x2 double dot some tension will be there in the string or this road pendulum road so that tension i have taken here is tension t due to this tension t two components will come one is t cos theta because this angle is theta or theta one if i am taking theta one then i will be writing theta one so i have taken here theta so i have mentioned this one theta right this angle if this angle is theta then this angle will also be theta so the same angle i have taken here so this components component is t cos theta and this will be t sin theta now as we know acceleration is in this direction so in opposite direction we will be having one inertia force that is m x2 double dot and obviously self weight of the pendulum is mg so this is the free body diagram of this mass small m now let's coming to the free body diagram of the 
cart so we have given some displacement to the cart that is x1 so because of that displacement cart is having x less and x1 double dot and two components of this tension t uh, one is this side this component that is t cos theta and another one is perpendicular to this one that is t sin theta and as the motion of this cart is in this direction backward direction so in opposite direction it will be having inertia force that is mx1 double dot and another one force is here that is spring force this one so if uh, x1 is the uh, expansion in the spring then spring will put an opposite force that is k into x1 so these are two free body diagrams so let me write the dl Lambert's equation here so first i am writing dl Lambert's equation here for this one for simple pendulum so uh, observe here carefully because we can write the equation in different forms so if this x2 i am taking here that's the if this is one of my coordinate then what i will do i will write the equation in this direction means in horizontal direction i am i will be writing the equation because this pendulum is moving at this instant when this angle is theta at that time this pendulum is moving in this direction with a displacement x2 or acceleration x2 double dot so i have written the equation here that's the sum of all the forces in this direction including the inertia force must be equal to zero that's what uh, de lambert says so m into x2 double dot so i'm taking positive in this direction because my pendulum is moving in this direction right so m x2 double dot plus t uh, sin theta equal to zero uh, we can see here if you want to calculate the value of t then we can vertically we can balance this mass so sum of all the forces vertically downward must be equal to sum of all the forces acting vertically upward so here mg must be equal to t cos theta so that's what i have done here t cos theta equal to mg let's assume that for a very small angular displacement theta cos theta can be taken as one so t is equal to mg so in this condition our equation will become m x2 double dot plus mg sin theta this sin theta and sin theta of course can be written as theta so m x2 double dot uh, plus mg theta equal to zero this is one of the equation from this free body diagram we are getting now from this free body diagram similarly in this direction only we have to balance the, all the forces including the inertia force so sum of this force plus this force plus this force must be equal to zero that's what i have done here m x1 double dot plus k x1 minus t sin theta so m x1 double dot uh, observe here plus k x1 minus t sin theta equal to zero now putting the value of t that is mg from here so m x1 double dot plus k x1 minus mg and writing sin theta as theta so mg theta equal to zero okay so these are the two equations we are having this one and this one now something important is here please uh, look at this carefully what is that important one that important one is what is the degree of freedom of this uh, particular example so degree of freedom is 2 as you can easily find out this one so my next question is what are those two so that's very important that depends upon you what are the degree of freedom you are taking so if you taking uh, x1 as one degree of freedom and theta this theta as the another degree of freedom then your equations must be in these two coordinates only that's x1 and theta if you taking x1 as one of the degree of freedom and x2 as another degree of freedom then your equation should be in terms of x1 and x2 right so we can write this equation these two equations in different forms look at here if i am taking coordinate x1 and x2 so what i will do i will simply look at this equation and i will make sure that in this equation only x1 and x2 must be there and this theta is uh, something different it, it should not be there i have to replace this this theta with x1 or x2 right so this one only i have to i have done here look at this point m x2 double dot this one plus mg 
I have replaced this theta with x2 minus x1 divided by L. How does it come in here? Observe here, we already have mentioned, uh, we have written this one here itself. Here, look at this diagram. How much is this length? This one, this one, that is L theta 1. How much is this complete one? From here to here, that is x2, right? So, if I subtract x2, uh, if I subtract x1 from x2, then what I will get? This one, observe here, I'm right, I am writing this equation again. How much is this distance? This one, this one, this is x2, am I right? So, how much is this one then? So, x2 minus x1, this one, this one I have to subtract, right? x2 minus x1. So, x2 minus x1 is this one, but this is L theta 1. So, can I write equal to L theta 1? So, this is how we get the value of theta 1. That is x2 minus x1 divided by L. That's what I have done here. Here, right? So, now you can observe in this equation, we are having only x2 and x1. That's it. So, these are our two coordinates, x1 and x2. Similarly, in this equation, we should not have theta. We must replace theta by x1 or x2. So, again, instead of theta, I have written this one. So, these are two equations we are having in which our coordinates are x2 and x1. x2 and x1, right. So, x1 and x2 that's it so these are our two coordinates or two uh, generalized coordinates now uh, if you are willing to keep generalized coordinates uh, coordinates as x and theta or x1 and theta if you don't want x2 you want theta so replace x2 with theta or in terms of x1 and theta so that's what I have done here. Uh, look at the first equation m x2 double dot. So x2 must be replaced because our coordinates are x1 and theta only, right? So x2 must be replaced by either x1 or theta or by a combination of both. So see here what I have written here instead of x2 that is x1 plus l theta from here only this one l theta 1 plus x1 must be equal to x2, complete one, right? So, as this is acceleration, so I have mentioned in terms of acceleration, plus mg theta equal to 0, so this is our equation 1, and now look at the second equation, x1 is our coordinate, x1 is our coordinate, and theta is also our coordinate, so this equation we can keep as it is, right, without any change. So, uh, now look at carefully in this equation, what are the coordinates we are having? We should not have any coordinate uh, except x1 and theta. So, x1, theta, theta, x1, x1 and theta. That's it. So, we are having only two coordinates here. That is x1 and theta. And here x1 and x2. That's it. Okay. So, this is how we can formulate the equation. Now what we have to do here is we have to put like in this particular set of equations we have to put x1 equal to let some capital X1 or capital A1 uh, sin omega t and another coordinate theta equal to let some phi sin omega t. So this is how we have to solve these two set of equations and here what we have to do here also we have to put x1 uh, x1 equal to a1 sin omega t and x2 equal to a2 sin omega t okay so is this clear so I, I i was thinking to explain this particular example to you up to this level only like how to formulate the equations this one and this one so i hope this is uh, uh, very pretty much clear to you now.
uh, if you have still any doubt please you can comment in the comment box thanks for watching you may subscribe to my channel uh, and you may press the bell icon it will be helpful to you when i will be uploading new video okay thank you so much